Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bushcraft Bums. Slightly different location today. If it looks like we're in a suburban front yard, it's because we're in a suburban front yard. Uh, we, we needed a fork tree for this project, and we didn't have one, so we had to come to the front yard of Blue Cottage Picking. Check out their channel. Great traditional flat picking guitar style. My brother Matt, guitar virtuoso extraordinaire. Don't forget, Blue, Blue Cottage, Cottage Picking. Matt Riley, check it out. Check it out, guys. But uh, what we got here is a windlass, uh, or a variation of it. There's a couple of different ways to do this. We'll this do is a... awesome, by the way. This is, a... this is <laughs> it's cool, one right? of the coolest cool. things I've ever seen. It's really cool. Uh, and uh, there's a couple of different ways to do this. So we'll do a couple of different videos demonstrating a couple of them. It's a simple machine that can help you uh, move a heavy load out in the bush using uh, very minimal material. So what we're using here, basically, um, we Once have this... again, basic physics. Basic physics, all right? That's primitive always your man. friend. Yeah, primitive, all right? So, as you can see, what you'll need is a heavy object, which we have over here. This is a rowboat, which is probably about 150 pounds. And then we got Buck in there, who's 150-ish. Yes, perfect. Ish. <laughs> and, uh, and my son there, who's 100 pounds. So, we're talking about 300, 400 pounds right there. So, that's uh, uh, on, on the cusp of what me and Matt could probably lift on our own. Yeah. And we're pretty strong guys, but we're also getting old. Our joints ain't what we what they used to be. And we're just demonstrating, like if this was a, yeah. a couple of logs tied together, if, or a, if we were in the woods, you know, this could be easily be a, a, a large log we wanted to bring. Or for, deadfall. Yeah, something like that. Know, something we that need to of. move. Exactly. All right. So we need a, a, a high tensile rope that'll carry the uh, that'll bear the strain that you're going to put on it. Okay. You'll need a tree with a fork in it, like we have right here. All right. And if you can come around here, what we have, we have two forks. Just like we're going out to dinner, right? You have your salad fork and your main meal fork. You have your fork in the tree right here, which basically just provides a brace for this. A forked branch, which goes across, which is tied to, with a clove hitch, all right? Which is a great knot. Uh, if you guys are interested, plenty of stuff on YouTube about it, but we can do a knot. Clove hitch is a great knot for this project, though. It's, it was meant for it. It was like it was born for it, all right? And then another stick to use to rotate this spindle. Essentially what this windlass is, it's a spindle that's held against the, the fork here for tension. And we're going to put this in the fork, and we're going to use so this. So basically, this is called a windlass, and this is what they would use on old sailing schooners to raise the anchor. When you would see those guys like singing Absolutely. songs and going around, they'd use a windlass to actually raise the anchor off the ocean floor. Now, I'm imagining, I've never tried it this way, I'm imagining if you were by yourself, you might be able to put a stake here to help brace yourself help brace this stick because as you pull in the slack kind of varies is, we're holding it up yeah so uh this can slide up and down but today we're going to do it as a two-man operation two -man team matt's going to hold on to the end of the stick here and i'm going to try to work this windlass and we're going to see what we got here all right boys I'm gonna, ready i'm just going to wedge this in and start turning what do you do with the drunk So we are getting some headway there, and it's not significantly less effort than if we were uh, picking it up and carrying it. You know, I'm not even out of breath, really. No, this is this is actually uh, actually this is a lot more pleasant than carrying a 400-pound uh, dead bull. Absolutely, I'll tell you what. <laughs> we probably could have used this with the chicken coop last. We moved it like yeah, an 800-pound yeah. chicken coop that, last that, week. That this would have been coop was 800. It would have been very beneficial to do something like this. All right, so we're almost actually going in this, uh... You there, handsomely now. This boat to the street. Handsomely, handsomely. Come to there. <laughs> the swabs. Arr, matey. Like in the pirate gets in the movie. It was rated R. Almost there. Almost there. Sweating to the oldies. Sweating to the oldies. Almost there. So if I had picked up this 400-pound boat, I would no way, at this point, be conversational. No, 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 no. I'd be we, winding that You and me would be, uh... Pass the Ben Gay, Johnny. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Back at the campsite. I think what would be good too is to get a good view of this rope, how it's how it's winding on this windlass. Yeah. Here, it's winding perfectly on this windlass, and this is really just a uh, this is a brilliant early invention, a brilliant display of uh, primitive understanding of physics in action. So we'll do a couple of more of these videos, towing objects. Maybe we can tow a car at one point using one, a different type of windlass. That would be pretty cool, yeah. That would be pretty cool. All right. But that's it. I mean, we got this, this pretty much over to the tree now. It's not a so, monumental distance, but So we moved a boat to a tree. Woo! Yeah! 
but if that was a, a log in the middle of our trail, we now effectively moved a 400 pound log with pretty minimal effort overall. So that that's it, a primitive wish, a primitive wish list, primitive windless bushcraft brought to you by your friends at Bushcraft Bums. Guys, thanks you so much. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the trail.